Are you ready to share your message in a bigger way? Join the Video Influencer Bootcamp where you will graduate with five ready to rock videos. Visit bootcamp.wellworld.tv. Hey everybody, welcome to Lillian Live in New York City. So excited to have you again. We have a great episode today where you're going to learn a lot. Um, in this episode of Lillian in New York City Live, I spend time with William Brown. He is the CEO and founder of Reimbursify. Bill created this company to make it easy for people to get money back from their health insurance companies. Reimbursify is an app that anyone can download and file a claim for reimbursement for out of network medical or mental health visits in as little as 10 seconds. Now, as you know, in the climate that we're living, the need for mental health has increased. So this is such a valuable, valuable tool. Bill is excited to share with us this game-changing solution for patients to reduce their costs for healthcare and to enable practitioners to provide access in their services effortlessly. Reimbursify also offers companies, corporations, and employers the ability to enhance the existing healthcare benefits they provide to their employee teams at an exceptionally low cost. So remember to like us on Well World TV, tag us, share us with all the media platforms. And without further ado, I'm going to bring in Bill Brown from Reimbursify. Hi, Bill. How are you? Hi, Lillian. I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Great, great. How is your mental health today? <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are definitely challenging times for all of us. Uh, you know, we're working from home with the rest of the Reimbursify team. Uh, we are into uh, our third month of of uh, working from home. So we were able to make the transition pretty quickly, but it's definitely an ongoing process for, for everyone. Yeah. I mean, it's, it has been, it has been a, a time I have to say. And um, what's amazing is that who, I mean, it was what you do and what your app is all about is so needed and has been needed. Like who files claims any, who wants to file a claim anymore? You know, by hand instead of just doing it seamlessly and, ha and getting reimbursed. Who does that? But now even more with the mental health going, going nuts, literally, uh, it's really needed. Can you tell me what is Reimbursify? I love the name. And how did, it, how did you uh, come to create it? Sure, sure. So Reimbursify is a company that I co-founded. Um, along with my, my co-founder, Dr. Vassal Thacker. Um, and he is a, prior to Reimbursify, he was a practicing psychiatrist. So he understands the, uh, the insurance industry and, and all of the billing issues from the practitioner side. And he understood how challenging that was and, uh, from, in terms of him running his business and making sure that his all of his patients got reimbursed for his services. So he, he came to me, uh, we, we'd been friends for quite a while. My background is primarily in software, uh, both uh, on the development side as well as the go-to-market side. And we recognized that there was, this, uh, that there was a really significant issue with people getting their money back from health insurance companies. So we focus on what's called an out-of-network health insurance reimbursement. So an out-of-network uh, reimbursement is basically when you go and you get services from a healthcare provider who is not a part of your health insurance plan. So you have in-network and you have out-of-network services. So if you have a health insurance plan that is uh, PPO is typically the uh, what it's referred to. Then you are allowed to go and see any healthcare provider, mental health, alternative health, uh, and you can pay them out of pocket for their services. But 
the insurance companies require you to file a claim for reimbursement against your insurance for those services. And this is a, this is a really a, a legacy system that most health insurance companies require people to download a form from the internet, to print it, to fill it out by hand, and to actually mail it via snail mail. So what Reimbursify does, excuse me, is we've created a, a solution that allows people to accelerate that process through a really easy to use app where you can file a reimbursement claim with your health insurance company in as little as 10 seconds. Wow. That's effectively what Reimbursify does. So uh, so really anybody can use it, a, a, a normal, I mean, practitioners and also the every everyday people. Yes. So, um, every, you know, the everyday people, consumers who are patients uh, or clients of healthcare providers and healthcare providers, you know, we, we built Reimbursify to uh, enable claim filing sort of across the spectrum of healthcare. So that includes medical doctors, that includes mental health practitioners, such as uh, psychologists and psychotherapists. That includes alternative medicine and alternative providers like acupuncturists, um, massage therapists, chiropractors, any uh, healthcare service that generates a medical code, you can use Reimbursify to file for reimbursement if your health insurance plan has out-of-network benefits, which about 120 million people in the United States have. So if you're getting your health insurance through your employer, uh, there's a good chance that you have out-of-network benefits. And Reimbursify is an easy way to be able to get money back from those services and reduce your overall cost of, of health care. From the practitioner side, uh, we have uh, uh, practitioner plans that allow practitioners to offer Reimbursify to their caseload, to their patients and clients, thereby eliminating any insurance administration from the practitioner and making it very easy to empower their, their patients to self-file with the app. So it's really a win-win uh, for everyone. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like there's a lot of money that people are missing out on. Um, how much, you know, do users of Reimbursify get back from their insurance companies? That's a great question. So uh, it, it varies by insurance plan and every insurance plan has different uh, payout structures for different kinds of services. But uh, generally what we see is uh, most plans will have some level of deductible for Adam Network. Uh, the average Adam Net Network deductible that we see uh, is in the neighborhood of about $1,000. Some are less, some are more. Um, but to hit that deductible, you have to submit claims. And so you submit claims through Reimbursify to fulfill that deductible. And once you fulfill your deductible, then your insurance company starts paying you back for money spent for out-of-network practitioners. And that can be a percentage. Uh, so, you know, a, a typical percentage, for instance, for mental health practitioners, you might get 50% back. So if you're seeing, say, a psychotherapist and they're charging you uh, let's say $120 a session, you could be getting back $60 uh, from that service. Many other plans will actually pay more. So we, we've seen plans that, that pay 100% of reimbursement, but it's really driven by the individual plan. Um, so you need to check with your, you can check with your insurance company uh, about what your, uh, what your reimbursements uh, structure is. Right. Okay. Um, wow. I mean, I know I've used it and uh, it's it's just been terrific and I've shared it with friends and uh, I'm just wondering where you've been because we needed this, you know, like it took, it, we, we should have had this a long time ago, but I'm so glad yeah. that you pioneered this. Well, thank you. Yeah. We're, we're, you know, we're currently in use in all 50 states. And, you know, we have, 
you know, thousands of providers that are giving it to tens of thousands of patients. And it, it's really, really growing really fast. So we've, we, you know, the company started a few years ago. We first launched the app um, a little less than two years ago. So we're, we're growing. And, and, you know, this whole um, reimbursement infrastructure is really sort of an artifact of the way things used to be, where sometimes there wasn't that much out of network and the reimbursement rates weren't that high. Uh, but today, more and more, uh, there's a, a, a lot of people who are seeing out of network providers for a lot of reasons. As an example, um, mental health. So you said um, early in the conversation that it's, you know, how crazy things are. How, how's my mental health doing? Well, I think I'm a pretty typical um, person uh, in the United States right now, and I'm feeling pretty stressed. Um, so what we see is we see an acceleration in mental health um, services across the board. And we see this as a growing trend. Now, within that context, mental health uh, practitioners and providers nationally are the highest out-of-network segment of healthcare. So um, across the country, 50% of all mental health practitioners don't accept any health insurance whatsoever. So they are total cash pay services. And all of those services um, are available for reimbursement. In large metropolitan areas like New York or San Francisco, Chicago, Dallas, uh, it's 70% of mental health practitioners do not accept any insurance. And so if you are trying to see an in-network um, mental health practitioner in an urban area, you don't have access to more than 75, 80% of those practitioners because only 30% take insurance, and maybe only half of that take your insurance. Right. So with Reimbursify, that it, it opens up access to 100% of all the mental health practitioners within your local geography. And that's, that's really important when you need help to be able to get it right away. Yes. Um, um, so that, that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, no, that's really, really important, especially, um, you know, I know that you live in New York City, like like me, and um, we've been, uh, you know, right here in the epicenter of everything. Um, literally, I know you're, you're near uh, Union Square also with the recent, um, sure. recent things that have been happening. But, um, you know, I, I know that there's commercials on TV. There's so much going on where mental health is just like, it, it's a, it's a necessary. So that's, that's really important. And it, it just, uh, it's timing. Um, how much does reimbursify cost to use? Mm. So anyone can download the app from the app store for free. Uh, and then they can file their first reimbursement claim for free. After that, it costs about $2 a claim to file mm -hmm. for reimbursement. Uh, and on the practitioner side, we have, uh, uh, we have three different plans for practitioners to offer reimbursify to their patients and clients. Uh, the, the, the first plan is free. So there's actually a free plan for practitioners that they can offer uh, reimbursify to their patients. Uh, and then there's two paid plans. Um, one is a plan that is a very low monthly cost. Uh, you can also sign up for an annual plan that is even discounted against that low monthly cost that allows all of their patients to have their first five claims for free, courtesy of their practice. And then we have on the high end, we have something called Reimbursify Practice Pro, where a practitioner can pay us a fairly low monthly fee, and all of their patients can then use the app to file for out-of-network health insurance reimbursement at no cost to the patient. So it's, it's a concierge offering. It's a way to help your patients get reimbursement, which in turn um, increases their overall satisfaction with your practice and your services 
and uh, results in you know higher return appointment bookings, um, which of course help both the practitioner and the patient. Right, and um, how I mean, how has the medical mo model changed? Um, I know there's uh, you know telehealth going on now a lot, and basically, how has the model changed, and how are these uh, companies? How can they embrace? Uh, and develop these uh, telehealth programs. No, we we are definitely in a new paradigm for healthcare. Um, there's just tons and tons of, of commentary uh, within the healthcare um, sphere that's uh, recognizing that the time for telehealth has come. So this has been an ongoing discussion now for. Um, at least the past 10 years. Uh, and last year we saw a sizable increase. In fact, uh, we actually enabled a feature within the Reimbursify app to specifically support uh, telehealth claim reimbursement last fall. So uh, we were a little bit ahead of the curve. And then of course, when the pandemic um, arose, uh, everyone started to engage in telehealth. Uh, insurance companies started to uh, announce guidance that they will uh, be more liberal in their reimbursement for telehealth visits. In the past, there had been some reticence around that and some extra uh, requirements. So it looks like the, the floodgates have opened and it makes all the sense in the world, of course. In the 21st century, you know, we have this ability, everyone's super busy with their lives. You know, if you need to engage in healthcare, uh, mental health, um, even we, we even have physical therapists who are providing physical therapy over uh, telehealth video conferences. And so we've built that and baked that into the Reimbursify app to ensure that everyone who does have telehealth visits, uh, their reimbursement will happen in a very streamlined way. And, and we see that as a, as a real trend in the overall sort of landscape of the delivery of healthcare across uh, medical, mental health, um, as well as alternative uh, modalities. Yeah, so that's, you, that's something that's here to say. Reimbursify has been a real bridge um, and a real vehicle for these um, medical um, practices to have been able to continue on without being, you know, interrupted, um, they were just able to kind of just smoothly go on, and that's that's huge that you had the, you know, that you had that uh, foresight back back in the fall before any of this even happens. Uh, you know, I don't know many people, many org many companies that even have that uh, capability. They had to all scramble, and you just mm. had it there so that's that's really that's great um we, we, we really feel that that you know we, we've been sort of an enabling component to uh to allow telehealth to happen and transition in a relatively smooth way yeah so yeah our claim rate continues to uh, go up we've had a huge spike in terms of the telehealth claim rates that are happening and quite frankly, we see that as, as an ongoing uh, you know, modality for delivery. I, I think so. I think many things are going to be, many things already have changed. And I think, you know, post, post pandemic, there's going to be a lot of different changes. I mean, a lot of people, you know, they're working from home and they're seeing their doctors through telehealth. So why, why go to a doctor appointment now when I can just do it, you know, so I yeah, totally understand. Um, I, I was talking to I was talking to a mental health practitioner the other day who's one of our customers, and she was saying that um, she believes because in the past she would, you know, she would have uh, out of a hundred percent of her patients, she said maybe five percent uh, would be would be doing telehealth with her. And she said frequently it would be because somebody would have to travel for business or they would go on vacation, but they still wanted to have their, their session, their weekly session with her. And so they would have that over Skype or 
or whatever video uh, channel was appropriate. Okay. Now she's shifted, and a hundred, of course, a hundred percent of her of her clients are on video chat, and she believes that on the other side of the pandemic, that we will normalize that. You know, being in the same room with another person is is a you know is a specific experience, and that people value that. But she believes that that there will, when that shift comes, where we start to go back and we start to normalize and we start to be in the same room with our our, our, uh, our healthcare providers, it will not go back to what it was. She, she believes that it will actually go back to a 50-50 ratio, um, which makes a lot of sense to me because if you, if you take into consideration, let's say you're going to go see your, your, um, your therapist uh, and it's going to take you 20 minutes to get there and then 20 minutes to get back to your office or back home. That's 40 minutes now that, you know, that you can now apply to something else. Right. So right. Uh, yeah, it's people have made the shift. Uh, yes. They've been forced to do so, but they've acclimated very, very quickly. And they've realized that a lot of times they can get what they need um, using this uh, yeah. virtual experience and and still have uh, that rebate in their personal time. Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that we all have um, had to deal with not doing what we normally do. And uh, wow, we could do that. We, we don't really, we haven't done that in three months. We haven't had that sure. in three months. Well, and we're okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's there's some really good, good things coming out of this. Um, I think so. You're not going to get caught in traffic on the way to an appointment, your your therapist appointment. That's true. That's true. Um, even if if you even want to get into a to, into a, a car or a bus. Um, so how does integrating a platform like Reimbursify ensure long term patient and business success? Hmm. I, I, again, I think that it's 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 all about enabling. It's all about enabling the process, streamlining the process. Um, you know, in 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 the, in the software world, we call that reducing friction. So, if you can uh, create a way to accomplish a necessary function, and you can, such as getting a check back from your health insurance company. Mm -hmm. And you can do that with a couple of clicks on your, on your, uh, on your mobile device. Then, you know, that, that becomes a game changer for both sides of the equation in terms of the patient and the practitioner. So um, as an example of that, for instance, um, you know, we have practitioners who tell us that, uh, having Reimbursify is increasing their patient, new patient acquisition rate. Hmm. And the way that it's doing that is, so let's say you're looking for a new uh, uh, healthcare provider. Let's just, you know, continue to use this analogy of a mental health provider. And you, you call them up and you say, I've heard about you. I found you through a Google search, a friend of mine, um, knew somebody that saw you and referred you. I'm interested in coming to see you. So they're going to reach out to the practitioner and there's good, they're going to have a little conversation about what their needs are. Um, and it's very common within that conversation for the prospective patient to say, do you take my insurance? Do you accept yes. my insurance? Yes. And, and if you are an Adam network practitioner, as many mental health practitioners, many alternative health uh, practitioners might be even a lot of medical. Um, we have tons and tons of pediatricians and dermatologists and family practitioners and, you know, within the sort of the standard medical world that don't take insurance, or maybe they take one insurance and that insurance isn't your insurance. So in that conversation, when you're talking about coming to see them and you say, do you take my insurance? Historically, the practitioner would say, no, I don't take your insurance, but I'll give you a receipt and you can talk to your insurance company about getting reimbursement. 
Mm -hmm. If the practitioner has signed up to be uh, a reimbursify uh, partner, then they now can say, instead of saying, no, you're on your own, what they can say is, well, we're, I, you know, I do, I'm not an affiliate of any health insurance network, but I will give you an app and you can self file for reimbursement with your phone in less than a minute. Yeah. And when they do that, suddenly now they're offering an additional benefit mm -hmm. to that prospective patient. And what practitioners are telling us is that they're seeing as much as 25% increases in those first um, sort of, at, you know, in that first outreach around, mm -hmm. hey, I'm interested in coming to see you. And for a practitioner, that's that's the whole game is to get them to book an appointment, come into the office or get on a video conference and allow them to start to create the relationship that's so valuable to have with your healthcare or mental health or, or alternative health provider. Um, so we're really pleased to, to, to see that Reimbursify is again an enabling uh, component to that process to, to continue to smooth out and reduce the friction yes. around providing those services to, to your patient and for the patient to receive them. Well, I have one word or maybe it's two, it's called game changer. Uh, that's, that's what this, that's what you are. That's what this, well, you're the pioneer, but that's Thank what you. this, this app is, uh, is doing. And, um, Bill, uh, how can, uh, people get, I'm going to show right now how people can get in touch. Um, yep, if you want to get it. in touch with, uh, Bill or with Reimbursify, you can go to this website, reimbursify.com. Can send an email hello at reimbursify.com. Um, well, this has been fantastic. Uh, any last words? Any any other things you wanted to say before we conclude? Hmm, couple, maybe a couple of points. Um, one is I just want to let you know, uh, uh, sort of uh, announce that that one thing uh, that's kind of exciting at Reimbursify is uh, we have a relatively new offering that, uh, for companies. So we now have an offering called Reimbursify Enterprise. And what that is, is for companies to offer Reimbursify to their employees as an add-on benefit to their health insurance. So um, it's, a, it's a very low cost way for companies to help their teams get better access to health care and to reduce their overall costs of of, uh, of healthcare and uh, get more benefits out of the health insurance plans that they have in place. So that's pretty exciting as well. So you know, if they can, uh, anyone can go to the website and uh, get in touch with us if you have any interest around that. We're happy to talk to you about it um, and offer a special discounted rate for okay. Well World TV. Since I <laughs> to mention that. Oh, um, that's great. We love we love what you're doing. We we've been we've been uh, tuning into Well World. We love what you're doing. Thank um, you. We love you. Great to see you on the scene. I think you're putting out a lot of valuable information to people thank uh, you. in a time when it's when it's needed. Yes, thank you so much, Bill. It's really been a pleasure to have you. Uh, I love people that are inspiring and creative and bringing. Uh, just changing the world and uh, and uh, that's you so thank you so much it was wonderful to have you on thank you for everything all the wonderful insight and again everybody you can reach uh, bill at reimbursify.com or email at hello at reimbursify.com everybody please remember to tag us at well world TV share us um, on Facebook and all social media platforms. And that concludes this episode. We will be back next Tuesday at 8. Again, thank you so much, Bill. And um, have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank be you. well. Thank be you. Safe. You too. Thank you. Are you ready to share your message in a bigger way? Join the Video Influencer Bootcamp, where you will graduate with five ready-to-rock videos. 
visit bootcamp.wellworld.tv.